In 3.4 day two's material, we're going to focus on when we have a variable on both sides of the inequality. So let's get started. Some inequalities have variables on both sides of the symbol. We need to gather the variable terms on one side and the constant terms on the other. So essentially we're just combining like terms, which is what we've been doing a lot. So here's our first example. What are the solutions of 6n minus 1 is greater than 3n plus 8? The first thing that we want to do is identify the like terms. So as you can see, there's a 6n on the left and a 3n on the right. So technically we could take either one and bring it to the other side, but I would highly recommend taking the 3n to the other side if you want to work with positive numbers, positive coefficients. So now we have a 3n minus 1 is greater than 8. And now we have a two-step equation. We're going to bring the negative 1 over, so we're adding 1, add 1 to both sides. And so now we have 3n is greater than 9. Divide both sides by 3, because that's the opposite of multiplication, and you get n is greater than 3. And that's the solution for this example. Now, there are some special cases. These don't always happen, but these happen when the variables cancel out. So let's do a little star somewhere on the side. Variables cancel out. That means they disappear. Now here's the first case. When you get a statement that is always true, such as 4 is greater than 1, that is always true, your solution is going to be all real numbers. That means that every single number that you plug in for the variable is going to make the inequality work. So that's the first case. And another special case is when you get an answer that is never ever true. An example of this would be 9 is less than or equal to negative 5. 9 is obviously bigger than negative 5, not less than. If that happens, you're going to get no solution. That means no matter what number it is, it will not work when you substitute it in for the variable. So those are the two special cases, and now we will see what those look like when we are doing examples. So in part A, we have this inequality. As you can see, we want to distribute the two. And so the left stays the same. And now we get, okay, interesting. So now let's add 8a to both sides. Uh-oh, what happens? The variables cancel out, aka special case going on. Now we have 10 is greater than or equal to 10. What do you think? This is always going to be true because of that line underneath the symbol, the, le the greater than or equal to. 10 is always going to be equal to itself. So always true, and that means the solutions are all reals. Okay, now let's try it. part B. 6m minus 5, the left side stays the same. Oh, I see some like terms. I see a 7m and a minus 1m. What do you get when you combine those? You get 6m. And we have a 7 over there. Okay, subtract 6m from both sides. And you get negative 5 is greater than 7. Mm, no, it doesn't work. That's never true. So that means there is no solution for this inequality. Nothing works. Okay, that's it. It was a pretty short lesson. You can try the lesson check below or wait until we do similar problems together during class. Great work.